guys. Welcome. So my name is Sasha Nies. I run All Point Dyno and Mountain Pass Performance. And we do motorsport electronics and dyno tuning. We also play with electric cars. Well, we specialize primarily in motorsport electronics, but we do a lot of race prep. And while I'm on fabricator, we do do a fair bit of fabrication here. Um, so this car particularly uh, has a lot of custom work done to it. We've also got uh, Lotus Evora uh, electric car that we've done complete electric conversion to with a Tesla motor. I started racing in 2006. This car here uh, used to run a Pony Challenge, so that was an endurance racing series since 2008. And the car has since kind of changed and transformed more into being uh, a time attack car. I've also driven professionally a little bit here and there in uh, Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge, which is an endurance racing series, uh, and World Challenge as well. So, well, listen, we've been using Byron stuff since like, 2008. Uh, in fact, the exhaust on this vehicle is from 2008, it's here now, and it's never failed us. So the main reason we use Vibrant is because we've never had an issue with it. Uh, the second reason is because, especially for the aluminum components, they, they're super nice to weld with. The exhaust system on this car was almost glowing red hot for three hours, minus pit stops. You know, it is. the engine is run at full throttle, you know, you're doing qualifying level laps, lap after lap after lap. This car has had a long history, and in the, over the last couple of years, we've been making some upgrades to it. It's recently got a sequential gearbox, uh, ITBs that we developed, and now we're taking it to kind of the next iteration again. The next big upgrade is happening over this winter. So we're, we're moving to a flat floor and a diffuser, so it'll be a you know proper GT car with real GT aero. Uh, it's getting a new engine. So the old engine was actually quite stock; it just had pistons and cams effectively. This new engine is going to be uh, arguably the most advanced VQ in the world. Uh, it's going to have a you know, Bryant crankshaft, which is going to raise the displacement to 4.2 liters. It's going to have a compression well over 13 to 1. The pistons are only going to have two rings instead of three to reduce friction. Uh, the heads are ported. It's got uh, custom camshafts done by Jim Wolf Technology that actually require us to machine the heads and install larger lifter buckets because the cam is so aggressive that if you don't have bigger buckets, it will literally ride off the edge of the bucket. We're hoping to be over 450 horsepower at the wheels, maybe closer to 500. And then on top of that, we're also gonna be adding a hybrid system. Uh, so we'll actually have upwards of 650 horsepower at the wheels uh, for time attack for a couple of laps. And then the hybrid system will work as a curse system where it recovers energy during braking and then redeploys it when you start out of the corner. Uh, I just named all my cars. My 240 was named Sandra. This one's named Kels. There's no real reason. Right, so we've been working with Will, kind of handling the electronics and tuning on his cars. Uh, I want to say five, five or six years now. Uh, and the thing that really inspired us to start sponsoring Will was the fact that no matter what this guy did, his car always made incredible power. You know, I know how hard I have to work to get 10 horsepower. Will comes in, he's got another 100 horsepower. Comes in the next time, he's got another 100 horsepower. It's like it never stops with that guy. And everything, usually when you do all these iterations with race cars, you make a bunch of changes to the car, and then you have to do a bunch of events to sort out those teething issues. You know, you very rarely do you throw a whole pile of stuff at a vehicle, and it all just works. And Will seems to defy that statistically. Like, right now, his car is... For the amount of upgrades you know that he's done over the years, going from all this aero that he added, all these electronics, paddle shifts, sequential gearbox, he's really like hardly had any issues mechanically. Like that's extremely rare. Combining an electric motor with an engine is pretty difficult, and, and making the the torque delivery feel like an, a normal engine is, is uh, something that's really important. And we're going to be deploying his power selectively you know, based on the state of charge of the battery and, you know, how hot things are getting. So there's a lot of logic that needs to go into what's going on here. And the really cool thing about this project is we're using a MoTeC uh, M150 ECU that will both drive the ECU and fully control the injectors and the coils and all the drive-by-wire and all that, you know, ECU-related stuff. And at the same time, it will also control the motor, the electronics, and everything. So it'll be one box. We, do, we post most of our cool stuff on Instagram, that's kind of where we put stuff first. Um, if you're interested, have a look through our website, we've got a lot of good content on there. 
We've got a lot of good tech articles about how to prepare your car for dyno tuning, to prepare your car for it to be reliable. You know, even if you're not local to us, everyone should kind of have a read through some of these articles because they'll make your, your time with cars more enjoyable. Less mechanical issues is more, more fun with your car. So have a read through there and shoot us an email if there's anything new to help you.